Oh, hi. I didn't see you come in. Well, welcome to Slippy J Sunday. And today I'm looking at probably one of my favorite slip joints I have in my collection so far. Uh, this one kind of permanently lives in uh, my junk drawer upstairs uh, in the kitchen because this is basically the one that I use for unboxing basically everything that I get shipped to me. And then breaking down all those boxes for recycling and all that sort of stuff. So yes, this is, uh, if I didn't say it before, this is a TS-123. This is, um, as you can see, we got uh, titanium for the uh, the scales here, but we also do have basically copper inlays on both sides. Really, really attractive kind of look to it. You know, the copper um, obviously is going to patina. Um, if you do try to uh, polish it up, it will get nice and shiny on you for a few days and then it will basically turn all green and funky or whatever. So yeah, I would just kind of let it sit and uh, patina away as it feels like. But yeah, this guy's got a uh, matchstick pole on him, which is uh, really easy to use uh, either way. No problem uh, kind of grabbing onto him. Very, very nice spring tension. It's not um, super difficult. I would probably give it, I don't know, like a five and a half. Does a pretty darn good job of uh, keeping it open, but uh, yeah, very, very easy to close one-handed if that's uh, what you're looking to do and purposefully. So yeah, this is a long design. And uh, yeah, it is an M390. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see that very, very tiny there at the back side of the blade here. This one does have a pocket clip on it, which is kind of neat. Uh, you can remove the pocket clip, but you're still going to have this screw kind of sticking out there. So, yeah, you might as well just uh, kind of leave it on there. Uh, it does a very good job of uh, disappearing in your hand and uh, not really causing any kind of discomfort or hot spots or anything like that. So, very, very well thought out. And we do have a uh, lanyard loop here on the back, which, uh, is, you know, I certainly can't really be sad that it's there especially when it's hidden in the back and doesn't really cause any problems ergonomically but uh yeah uh this thing doesn't come with a uh a belt sheath or or anything like that it this one does have a pocket clip though but they do make um some uh pocket sheaths uh that will work with these guys um I haven't seen them listed on eBay for a while but I did pick one of them up uh I ended up shoving um, that clipless G10 Tonto, I don't know, maybe the TS-69, I don't know, but, uh, that was the one that I ended up throwing in there, but yeah, they, they are available from time to time, and fairly affordable, somewhere, in, uh, somewhere around the neighborhood of, um, 10 to 12 bucks, I think, something like that, but, uh, yeah, as I said, this one, uh, basically lives in my junk drawer upstairs, so I can, uh, open it up and, uh, pull this guy out. And uh, I did kind of get a little bit used to that because we do have a uh, box opener up there. But those blades, and it really doesn't matter what brand I actually get, they will get through, I don't know, two or three boxes maybe. And uh, yeah, and then I need to uh, flip them over because they're dull and that's really annoying. Uh, I haven't really tried much to strap them back up. But, uh, yeah, I do end up cleaning uh, the tape glue off, so that's not really the, the issue. They just kind of suck, and this is, uh, you know, much better. So uh, that's what I like to use. We have, uh, well, let's see. What do we got going on for blade length here? Well, I'm on millimeters, so how about if we go ahead and do that first? As you can see, this one is actually pretty darn thin as far as uh, uh, blade thickness goes at like uh, about 2.2 millimeters, which is uh, also one of the reasons that make this uh, one of my favorite ones is because it's very, very slicey compared to a lot of other uh, Tucson slip joints, uh, Wong's uh, included for most of those, of it, um, you know, usually having like 3.8 millimeter thickness in the back. This one uh, does a fantastic job of, uh, of doing all that sort of slicing tasks. And yeah, let's see, we got 
Yeah, just under 3.2 inches. So very, very usable. And because of that, the handle is very, very nice and comfortable. Perfectly fits my larger than, uh, larger than usual hands. Just perfectly. Very, very neutral. We do have a, a bit of a curve kind of going out there. A little tiny bit of a beak here on the back end. But uh, when the knife is large enough, I actually do like that quite a bit. Uh, rather than it uh, kind of tapering off that way. It gives me something to uh, have my pinky really grab onto rather than to uh, slip off of all the time. But, uh, yeah. This guy, um, well, yeah, how about if we uh, look at its thickness real quick here? Yeah, it's, it's thinner than a PM2. All right, so like 0 0.45 almost uh, of an inch. Uh, but as you can imagine with it having, um, solid titanium and copper scales on it, uh, this guy is probably not super lightweight. Yeah. 3.9 ounces, 110.5 grams. So, you know, it's not absolutely crazy, crazy heavy, but it is very noticeable, especially in hand. It just feels very, very dense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to say about this thing. It's, uh, it's got a nice high flat grind. Uh, I appreciate having a, a flat reference point there. Just makes uh, sharpening just a little bit easier. The M390 on this thing is not the hardest thing in the world, but it still does a pretty darn good job of uh, holding up. You know, I can seriously still slice and shave and do everything that I uh, would really want to do with the darn knife. And this guy, um, the last time I had sharpened this, this has probably seen, oh... 40 boxes and then you know diced up to a nice small size um but uh yeah i do end up having to use the uh the uh, leather strap that i use in my kitchen from time to time after i clean that up i can notice a little bit uh usually right around um the uh area here but that's because it's what i tend to use the most of but uh yeah it can start to roll or whatever but yeah just drop it back and uh it's been going great since haven't really needed to sharpen this thing for uh, a very, very long time. So yeah, it's uh, probably not quite the uh, the most keen M390 uh, edge treatment ever, but um, it's very, very serviceable, does a great job, and uh, it's probably just a little bit easier to keep maintained than uh, a lot of others. So something that um, I might absolutely regret is that I kind of want to take a look on the inside of this one here. Now, um, unless I absolutely have to, I don't really want to um, remove the uh, the blade from its spring. But if I can. And I can't without a little bit of help because it's uh, got a free rotating pivot. Alrighty. Yeah, this little green guy does help out quite a bit. When you really want to uh, disassemble something. Even though the knife, like this one, is probably screaming, No, leave me alone, don't open me. <laughs> it's still going to happen. So yeah, this is going to be a little fun, kind of jimmy in this one open. Uh, because this uh, back spacer here that uh, the clip is attached to is actually um, providing a lot of the uh, spring tension here. So... Let's see. Well, I got a couple of things to try and get in here. I uh, don't really want to use um, steel tools if I absolutely don't have to. 
you can see the reason why uh, I did need to uh, use both sides there is that I did uh, add a little bit of thread locker in here. I will poke that out a little bit in the back, just kind of make it a little bit easier to try to get out. But it may all be for not. I don't know. Let's find out. You know what? I think I'm probably good trying to uh, not disassemble this then. Uh, now, I certainly could, but, um, you know, obviously it does have hardware to be able to do that with. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just probably in my best interest not to do that on this particular one here. Um, something I guess you can kind of point out a little bit is that uh, you do have some screws here for uh, um, kind of holding on the uh, the copper inlays there. And these are absolutely seamless. Like, I can't really feel anything like that, even dragging my fingernail over it. So that's perfectly good to go. Uh, but because of that, these things really aren't designed to be removed. Um, they are very, very much press fit, uh, especially because copper, copper itself is um, a little softer than uh, a lot of other metals out there. So, um, you know, this one probably wouldn't be a, uh, prime, uh, candidate for doing some anodization work, but it could look kind of neat next to the, uh, the copper and everything there, but you're going to run into a lot of difficulties trying to, uh, put all of that back together. But speaking of which, I suppose I shall actually, uh, throw these things back together. Sorry for the, um the cock tease, but, uh, yeah, I just don't think it's probably in my best interest to, uh, fully pull this guy open. I do have the, uh, the pivot just a little bit tighter than I would like it, though. There we go. Yeah. So, as I was saying, uh, much earlier in this review, um, that uh, I think the uh, the pull on this guy is probably right around a five and a half for me. However, um, I have heard other people have some um, reviews and opinions on this guy, and uh, some of them have complained about having a very very strong spring on them. So uh, yeah, as far as your attention, it might vary just a little bit. Uh, this one's uh, not super super old. Um, See, uh, man, I want to say I got it uh, probably somewhere around March of uh, last year. So, yeah, I've had it for a little over a year. Um, and that certainly wasn't when these were brand new, but that's when, uh, you know, the next set kind of came out, which is uh, when I was really starting to get involved in picking these things up. And, uh, yeah, so... As I was saying, this one in its current state and everything, uh, one of my absolute favorite slip joints that I have in my collection and one that I use, oh, at least several times a week for just opening up, basic, yeah, mail, packages, all sorts of good stuff like that. Uh, does a fantastic job with everything that I've thrown at it. And while the M390 is probably not the absolute hardest thing in the world, it does seem to uh, hold that edge for a very, very nice long time and is pretty easy to uh, strap back into true. Which, um, you know, some really, really hard uh, M390 um, is pretty difficult to actually achieve. So, uh, yeah, there you go. This is a super nice and slicey uh, slip joint from Tucson, which um, isn't exactly the, um, the norm for them. But uh, I absolutely appreciate it, and this is a fantastic knife. So, yeah, that's everything I got to say about this one. Again, apologies for the, um, the disassembly cock tease, but, uh, yeah, it's probably just going to be a bad time having me uh, actually try to get that scale back on there. So, yeah, uh, either way, I mean, I, I will say this has uh, phosphor bronze washers on the inside of it. Uh and, uh, yeah, 
super nice. It's got a blade stop pin, so uh, you don't have to worry about um, any kind of blade wrap happening with it. So yeah, I will finally shut up now and uh, leave you back to uh, whatever you're doing that's probably much more interesting than this. So, as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, hey, I mean, if you've made it this far, if you're actually interested in what I'm doing, uh, you can go ahead and uh, give me a little subscribe or a like or uh, leave a comment, any of that sort of stuff. You can tell me I suck. Not something I haven't heard before in my life. So, <laughs> yep. All right. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, yo. Subscribe.